until uh, two weeks ago, you know, I was still okay. I think I, I, I met some friends, we had dinner, uh, um, I was doing my normal routine. So I felt like normal, but I started to feel more tired. And then in just one snap, like, like that, I started to feel depressed. depressed. It was the first time that I, I, I felt so defeated and I don't know what to do. I didn't know where to go. My mind was just blank. Everything feels so dark. All of a sudden, all the heartaches, the sufferings, everything that you've been thinking and, and then the burdens at work, taking care of your family, taking care of a lot of things in general just put a toll on me. First time to, to experience that and I don't know how to cope up with depression. I think I was I was struggling with the death of my father. There were certain issues that I really want to address face to face, but unfortunately we didn't have any chance to do that. You know that he died on my birthday last year. We never had a chance to even talk to him. It just happened. I was at work. I received a call from my cousin and told that he's dead. If I go back to that day, it was very overwhelming. I didn't cry. I was just shocked. But my mind was was already thinking, it's going to happen. What am I going to do? How about my mom and my sister? How am I going to break this news to them? It's going to devastate them, especially my mom. So I was just on my desk, staring at the wall. I told my team that I'm leaving for work. I went home went to bed straight, I remember, just thinking how to break the news. I knew already that I have to tell it to my sister first. I think it will be more difficult for my mom. So if I break it to my sister and then she recovers a bit, then she can help me pull some strength and, and give it to my mom when, once we tell it to her. But unfortunately, that was not the case. When I called my sister, I asked her to go to the room. <laughs> but when I broke the news, she, she started crying out loud and my mom heard it and then she just blurted out. And, and my mom was like, this is getting out of control now, so I'm not there. It was very difficult, so I was trying to stay strong, not, not crying while they're crying. And then my heart was crying and being shattered. I just recalled how, how how that day went. I felt like I'm still have some hang-ups on, on on my father's death. I felt like I'm I'm the head of the family now. I need to take care of my sister and my mom. And not only that, after a few months, I was also say promoted to become the managing director of our foundation. So I felt like two big responsibilities was put on my shoulders and. I thought I'm okay, I thought I can handle it. I didn't realize how big the scope of the responsibility is. Knowing myself, I like to just say yes and just try and try harder. So I was just distracting myself with all the responsibilities and, and just kept going and forgot all the pain, the sorrows. And I still haven't got home because I can't go home because of the visa and everything and with all this COVID, it's still an unfinished business to me, like the death of my father. I think this has contributed to my depression. I can't see my my family, I can't go home, we can't give my father a proper burial. And then so many things happening in the foundation. And then my health. I don't know what's going on. So many factors affecting your your mind. It's all in my head and uh, just one day I snapped and felt depressed. 
I decided to get into a wellness trip here in Samui. Aside from taking leave from work to avoid from stress, I want to be away from the city as well. I want to do some meditation, some yoga, some healing, some spiritual activities to be uh, with the nature. The beach has always been my favorite place when I want to heal my soul. So that's the reason why we're here in Samui. Not only to relax, but to, to, to recover. Um, because on Monday, I'll be having my third operation. I decided to have an open surgery and just get it done, get it fixed. I have to solve this. I cannot be weak anymore. I cannot be struggling anymore because I wanted to do more at work. I wanted to do more for our organization, for our foundation. I want to be healthy. I want to be I want to be excited with life again and I want to be strong for the people who depends on my strength as well. So, I don't know. I just felt like talking about it make me feel good so that's what happened to me a few weeks ago I didn't tell anyone uh, I don't feel like putting that burden to other people so I just kept it um, only happy knows I'm a very positive person I like to be positive when I'm around when, when I'm with people uh, I like to be the one sharing that positivity uh, so it was difficult for me to share the negative side of myself so imprison myself uh, so that I don't affect the other people with that negativity so I think I'm, I'm starting to get better I'm feeling much better I feel better today it, it really makes a difference when, when you're surrounded with beautiful nature the trees, the beach not much noise all types of noise um, and it's making your mental health very healthy so I'm on my way towards recovery I'm excited to be alive again and if anyone is going through the same thing um, don't be afraid to admit that you're weak and you're not strong and you need help or you need time to heal or recover do it for yourself um, no one else will help you but yourself others may be there to comfort you or to give you advice but at the end of the day it's you who's making a decision for your life so never hesitate fight for your life fight for your health um, you may need to sacrifice some but that's part of it you cannot you cannot take it all you must sacrifice some things in order for you to achieve something uh, and this is what I'm doing right now and just stay strong find someone that you can talk to and, and share your feelings because it helps a lot to share that you cannot win the battle by yourself you need some help i realized in my life no one has seen the vulnerable side of me except hubby he has seen me doing ugly cry being so weak i'm not used to showing that to people i'm just so lucky hubby was there uh, all the time he was so patient with me you know after work um, he would take care of me he was just there you know hubby is not the type of person who will talk talk to you and give you advices or calm you with his words no he's not that but what has been helpful was just being present when, when I wanted someone to be there to make me feel that I'm not alone there and, and it was really helpful I'm very blessed to have him he may not fully understand what's going on uh, and what I feel 100% but he was there